divorced my husband because I was making a certain amount of money. I divorced my husband because I thought I didn't need him anymore. I divorced my husband because I had this senior position at work and thought I held the same position at home. I divorced my husband because I thought I was better than him because I had my degree now. I divorced my husband because I thought a successful marriage meant I was here and he was down here. That is not success. That's fucking sickness. I found myself divorced and out there looking for love in all the wrong places. Fucking this one and that one and that one and that one and this one. And Pause. Whoa. Whoa. Ladies, word of advice. A lot of us guys don't know your body count. The last thing some of y'all should be doing out here is making yourself even worse than what we already think y'all are. That's just word of advice. Some of y'all too open with this nonsense. Like y'all, y'all going crazy. I, 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 guys will hate me for this, but I'm gonna give y'all some advice. We already have our pre, you know, mindset set up. We like, okay, this is what she is. When y'all gloat this thing and flaunt it around, I look at y'all like you lost your mind. I don't know how that helps you, lady. Keep some. Y'all should keep some stuff to yourselves. This, this general man, that's crazy. When in that one. And my body count going up and my value going down. I'm just going to call it like a T.I. is. All the while, my husband done found somebody else building a, a relationship and building a life with them. I should have stayed married to my husband. I felt like I was on this dark road with no street lights. Go fight for him. Get your behind off TikTok and go fight for that man. Go outside, put your boots on. Get your military gear and go out there and go fight for your man. Go fight to get your husband back. I'm not going to believe your nonsense until you go fight for that man. Go fight to get your husband back. If you really holding yourself accountable, go fight for that man. Make us a believer. Go fight to get your husband back. It's pitch dark and I couldn't find my way and didn't know which way to go. I felt lost. I felt like I was walking barefoot on that dark road with pebbles and hot rocks sticking my foot. I felt hurt. Uh, I felt alone because every time he and that one and this one and that one left my bed, I was alone all by myself. And which was supposed to be soft and comfortable, comfortable for me, my pillow, it was now filled with tears. I should not have left my husband. I am filled with joy now because... Go fight for your husband. Go back and fight for that man. That man is still alive and kicking. Go fight for that man. He's, he didn't pass away. Go fight for your husband. Go fight for to get that man back. I have a wonderful man in my life, and although my marriage, uh, I am filled with joy now because I have a wonderful man in my life, and although my marriage um, to my ex is over, I should have stayed with my husband. Now, believe me, he was no angel, but guess what? Neither was I. I just thought I was better than the man. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> I don't know how shocked I should be at that video. Why in the world did she make this video to hold herself accountable and proceed to say she slept with a whole bunch of guys? I don't I think that part should have been just spoken to her husband or to her new present boyfriend. Why would she tell the world this? Because now I believe that the new man should run away. Guys, this is how, you know, a woman is serious. Her actions will speak louder than her words. This is when you know a woman is serious. Her actions will speak. That new guy, if he ever see this video, I don't know if he has. But most, most likely he hasn't because he's an older gentleman, because she's an older woman, and them guys don't really pay attention to TikTok like that. My guy, run away. My guy, run away. If she was, she three times she mentioned, I should have went back to my ex-husband. What was stopping you? She wasn't serious. Guys, if you're serious about something, you go fight for it. You try to work it out. She wasn't serious. She put all this accountability nonsense. Where's the actions? She got a new man. Oh, I slept with this guy. I slept with this guy. I slept with this guy. I slept with all these guys. You know, I just had fun out here. And now I found a simp that's going to take me in. Like this woman... And then here's the thing. <laughs> Before the video ended, she proceeds. She says she has a wonderful man. The reason why people are probably looking at me like, Sean, you're being too judgmental, Sean. 
Think about this, Sean. You, she changed. She's a better woman. She, guys, before the video ended, this woman just said she should have stayed with her ex-husband. That shouldn't even come out of her mouth no more. If she found a wonderful guy, like she said, she got a new man who's wonderful and he's great and everything. Your ex should not be the next. She already told us the first time, me, I should have just went back to my ex. That's when I said, make it work. Second time, I should have went back to my ex. That's when I said, you should run back. Before the video ended, she read it again. I should have stayed with my ex-husband. After she proceeded to say she has a new wonderful man. I am confused and she is confused. If you wanted to stay with your ex-husband, you should have just went back. I don't see the purpose of you being with this new guy. And guys, these women love to get on. Um, He said, how old is this? Three or four? Well, she said, how old is this? Three or four? She got to be probably in her 50s. Probably in her 50s. But it's... I. I I'm I'm a I'm a true believer of action speak louder than words. I'm a true believer. And a lot of these women put this fake narrative, oh, I'm gonna change, I'm different, I I, I worked on myself, I healed. The action doesn't show it, guys. The actions does not show it, guys. I'm telling you, the actions does not show that they worked on themselves. They fixed themselves. They healed themselves. They changed. The actions does not match the words. And that's all I need y'all to pay attention to. Stop listening to this women so-called holding themselves accountable, saying she's a better woman. Where is this proof of action that you actually took in to show that you changed? Your words mean nothing. L ladies, women. Your words mean nothing when you hold yourself accountable. If you are not out here showing actions of you doing better, living better, like actually holding yourself accountable, we do not believe your words. A lot of women get on this platform. A lot of women speak to us. I heal and I worked on myself. Lies. Lies. If a man kept telling us he's this, he's this, we're going to be like, show us the proof. We need the tangible proof. We can't just keep taking your word. Show us, ladies. Show us the accountabilities working. Don't tell us about these imaginary accountabilities. Show us with your action. That's all I'm saying. We need actions, not word. Action. Time of words went past out the door. We kicked it out. We we done with it. We don't want no more words. We want actions, ladies. Just show us actions, man. Actions. Actions speak louder than words. That's all I want. Actions. Like, comment, subscribe, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. I feel with